Okay. Oh, Panda says hi. Are... Okay, hi, Panda. Uh, <laughs> I want to welcome everybody in YouTube land to uh, the Fellowship of Mental Health Hangout um, for October 23rd, 2015, uh, Friday. And people are trying to contact me, so I have a look at that here in a second. Panda's joined the call. Oh, excellent. Welcome, Panda. Uh, are you getting ready for the flood of uh, the remnants of uh, Patricia? Uh, they're predicting. Oh, he's sick. Oh, I'm sorry to hear. I'm sorry to hear that you're sick. Uh, okay. Well, be that as it may. Let me get through the housekeeping, and then we'll then we'll open up to our our uh, topics. Uh, there's no judgment here. We don't do therapy here. None of us are qualified. We try to show each other a lot of respect, uh, both for each other and for our topics. Uh, we want to keep it a PG rating, and we find that to do all these things, the use of uh, I statements is instrumental. And I wanted to apologize for last week. I was talking to uh, Anastasia earlier. Uh, my father had a bad reaction to uh, some medicine he was given for a bad cold. And I think he would have rather have just had the bad cold, but they gave him some uh, antibiotics, and he was uh, uh, manifesting all the side effects, you know, and uh, and to the point where he couldn't even drive because he had light sensitivity, and he, he the sun was so bright he couldn't even drive. So uh, so me and a friend took him to the uh, doctor's office. Uh, Friday afternoon, which is why I had to cut the hangout short. But uh, but to make a long story short, uh, he is doing better now. Uh, we now he's off the antibiotic and uh, he's doing doing much much better. And uh, and I've written down the name of that antibiotic. I can't uh, pronounce it, but I'm 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 vowing to never take it as long as I live. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Uh, um, Anastasia, do you have anything to add? No, as far as housekeeping goes. Okay, then let's move into our our topic. Our topic today is going along with uh, Dr. Napoleon Hill's and W. Clement Stone's book, Success Through a Positive Mental Attitude. We are working on, uh, in this book, it is the seventh principle, but uh, the book I'm using for my notes is called Believe and Achieve uh, by Samuel A. Seibert who was a disciple of W. Clement Stone. Anyway, this gives you a much, much more concise you know, chapter on each of, of the principles or whatever. And then, and then there's one chapter that's nothing but paragraphs. But anyway, so uh, <laughs> Applied Faith is our first topic and the easiest definition to say to that is it, trust which leads to action. You trust the chair will hold you so you sit down in it or whatever, or you go for a job interview and you just trust that things will work out well. So it's 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 not just believing in something, but it's it's actually doing something uh, uh, based on that belief. So. Uh, do you have anything to add to that, um, Anastasia? Yeah, um, it's like if I promise something, uh -huh. then I act on that promise. I don't break right. it. Okay, like, so 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 you're keeping faith. Yeah. Are you are you acting in 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 good faith? Uh, yeah. There's something that, that Dr. King said that just came to my mind, so it must be appropriate to share here. But he said, um, if you can't see the top of the staircase, go ahead and take the first step. That's kind of that's kind of what we're talking about, you know. Uh, faith is the antidote to uncertainty. You're not certain of something, but you're just going to trust uh, that the best outcome is, is going to happen or everything's going to work out uh, for the best so yeah and uh, 
and Dr. Hill says it's it's probably the the most um, one of the most important principles because it enables you to keep going um, despite obstacles or whatever. You have faith that you can overcome these obstacles. And uh, the example he used was Henry Ford. Henry Ford uh, had the idea for a cheap car that people could drive, and uh, basically he was laughed at. He was laughed at by by his family and friends and everybody else, but but he kept his purpose on his objective or his mind on his objective and it, everything worked out well and that's the history of it so I mean my mom promised me that we would get my phone sorted out and we got my phone sorted out so okay she acted on it and we did it okay okay well that's uh that's my topic for today. So now we'll we'll open it up to um, anything anybody would like to uh, discuss. I'm really sorry that Panda is sick, which probably explains why he's with us today and not in school. But uh, it's probably going to be a good weekend to get sick. From what I understand, Oklahoma is going to be in the path of this is the biggest hurricane on he's record. It's an awful weekend to get sick because I sympathize with him too because I've got a migraine. Yeah, but well, I mean, but hopefully your weather is going to be nicer. But uh, this is yeah. the biggest hurricane that they've ever, of course, they've only really been able to have good measurements since about 1960, which is when I think they started the hurricane hunters that fly into these storms and, and take the measurements or whatever and get the wind velocity and everything. But they're saying. Uh, the last I heard was like 200 miles an hour. Uh, I mean, just, I can't even imagine that. That's and horrendous. I can't even imagine that. I mean, it's it's a Cat 5, but uh, I'm, yeah. I'm wondering if they need to come up with a cat, Category 6 for this for this baby because she's so big. Uh, that's anyway. horrendous. That's, that, that sounds horrible. Well, you know how big I, I the state of... Yeah. How how big the state of Texas is, right? Yeah. Okay, it's bigger than the country of France. You can yeah. set France inside. The whole state is under a, a, a flash flood watch. <gasps> I mean, it's likely that a warning is when they know it's going to flood, and I think a watch is when, when chances are good that it's going to flood or whatever. But uh, but uh, but the whole the whole state that's how that's how big this puppy is. So so like I said earlier, I'm uh, I've got my plans. I'm gonna stay here at the house and uh, hope the waters. We're we're actually on a little bit of a hill, so we don't we don't flood here. We there's been flooding around us or whatever. There's a, a creek not too far away from us, like maybe a mile or so, and sometimes it'll flood, but, uh, but I'm not I'm not too worried. What, what worries me is we have these people that get out and go places, and the saying is, you know, if you see if you see water and you can't see the bottom of the water, not to drive in it. Yeah. And that can be, they say, as, as little as six in inches of water can move a two-ton car. <gasps> So you think that's only six inches? I can get to to that, and then all of a sudden you're being swept away down the down the river or the creek, creek or whatever. So, so I just you know, I just don't even mess with stuff like that or whatever. Better so, to be safe than sorry. Yeah, yeah. So, and I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking West Texas is going to be impacted more than East Texas is or whatever. So. Uh, but I mean that's just a guess. We'll just have to wait and see. And uh, but I think it's supposed to rain. Uh, well, really, it's it, it's been drizzling and sprinkling here. And then I think the, the rain, uh, the earnest rain, shall we say, is yeah. going to start uh, probably tomorrow about noontime uh, here. So, so I hope it doesn't get too bad. <laughs> a little less than 24 hours. Well. I mean, I've done everything I can do. Uh, yeah. You know, so I mean, my my truck's gassed up for what that's worth. So. Yeah. And I've got and I've got plenty of supplies. I mean, uh, uh, 
we're we're used to well we're not used to hurricanes. You can't get used to a hurricane. But, no, uh, but but we we try to stay prepared for hurricanes. So you know, as long as you got enough food in. Huh? Yeah, well, when her, Hurricane Ike hit, we were without power for ten days, and luckily my father had a uh, a generator, and he had squirreled away some gasoline. Uh, gasoline was dear too because you know. Uh, the trucks couldn't deliver it or whatever, but uh, but uh, so I mean, you think you've got a gas generator, you're okay. Well, that's fine if you have gas. Yeah. Okay. Panda says it was raining last night. Okay. That that's. I was watching the weather people, and they were trying to explain what was happening. There's actually two systems. There's already a system that stumped um, several inches of rain in West Texas. And I think New Mexico and maybe even Arizona or whatever. But anyway, and then into Oklahoma. Oh, and then, I've just fallen off the bed. Are you okay? Just about. <laughs> okay. Welcome, Blue. Uh, and so anyway, this uh, this uh, Patricia is going to feed right into that, and uh, and I'm guessing. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to be just even worse. They said Odessa got like four inches of rain in 24 hours, and Odessa is in West Texas, and so four inches of rain is like four months worth of rain, you know? The fall caused me to hit my head, but... Are you I okay? Should be, I should be. Yeah. I'm about to switch. Okay. I need to refresh this page. I can't take this. Hello? Hello. Is it's this, Gray. Uh, Gray. Gray. Gray, how's it going? Um, stressful. Okay. Shocked. <sighs> I kept thinking it was Saturday, but it's not. It's Friday, ain't it? It's Friday, yeah. You may hear a little bit of noise. I'm opening up my YouTube page. I'm going to try ah. to hit the mute as soon as I can. You checking so. something? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I hit the mute. Okay, I just... Uh, I anticipated Blue. He's, he said post a link so I, I did that so what I'm doing now is I'm posting a link privately on on the Google page yeah so that so anybody who's in one of my circles uh, or I guess anyone that who I'm in a circle with as well yeah come in. So I'm just not going to do it publicly anymore so for the trolls no the yeah that's cool okay everything seems to be okay Okay. Oh, uh, we talked about uh, Lou's asking about my father. My father's doing much, much better. Uh, it was it was a case of where the where the cure was worse than the the disease. He had a really bad cold. And they gave him some medica some some medication, some cough syrup, which he said tasted horrific. And then also uh, some uh, some antibiotics, uh, anthro something myosin or something like that. It started with an A. And, uh, Erythromycin. Right, right, right. Which is a very very gen generic thing, but he had he had a bad reaction to it. But that was that was a week ago. Uh, once we got him off of it, uh, he's been doing better and better. We actually went out Monday and did some shopping, and then Tuesday he had an, an, a follow-up appointment, and he was actually able to drive himself to the follow-up appointment. And then Wednesday night he went out with his buddies and had a couple of beers. So he's he's doing much much better. But if you're someone that normally takes a flu shot, you should probably if you haven't taken it already, you should probably take it very, very soon. I've already got it. <laughs> okay, good deal, good deal. Because uh, I don't know what the what the weather's going to be like this winter, but we don't need to give uh, these little 
viruses an opportunity uh, nope. an opportunity <laughs> to uh, to set up shop in her body. So uh, blue is it is it raining out out in El, El Paso way in West Texas? I'll give him a minute to think about that. Uh, I didn't get to go to Dell's hangout on Wednesday, but uh, I felt kind of bad because I think he sat there for himself uh, for like two and a half hours. No, no one joined him Wednesday. No one, no one, no one turned up. Well, see, what I do is I don't watch the whole thing, but I take my little cursor and I go across it. And and every time a person speaks, their face will pop up. So I took my little cursor and I ran it across, and no one else's face popped up. You know, usually he's got his buddy James here, but I guess maybe James had to work. That's okay. awful. Okay, Blue says, nope, it had been, we've had flood warning, now sky is clear. Okay, well, clear skies may not mean very much for very long. Because uh, Odessa, Odessa is not too far from you, and they got like four inches of rain, I think, yesterday, I think. Or, uh, but anyway, we're, we're keeping our, our eye on that, uh, on the eye of the storm. On uh, Patricia, maybe, maybe it'll come south. I'm, I'm not sure about... Uh, how hurric hurricanes, well, first of all, they're called ty typhoons in the Pacific Ocean, I think. But I'm not sure. I, I'm guessing the circulation would be the same. So, so when it hits, Houston will actually be on the dirty side, and El Paso will actually be on the clean side, which means it dumps all the rain on the dirty side and then as as the circulation goes around what's left over falls on the uh, on the western side so so okay he says hurricanes in the eastern pacific and we had bad weather the, the day before okay so maybe odessa got the rain on wednesday yeah okay well uh I'm keeping my fingers crossed for everybody in, in Texas, so and Oklahoma and anywhere else this place this thing goes. You know, this thing could wind up in Canada. I hadn't thought about that, but it could wind up I mean it's obviously it'll be downgraded as it goes along, but it could it could it could wind up somewhere in Canada. Mom says um it could end up here as well. Yeah, I, I hadn't thought about that but but it actually could. It actually could, so But, uh, oh, uh, do y'all do anything for a ha Halloween in the UK? Yeah. Um, the people. We used, we used to go trick or treating when we were younger, but we don't do it anymore because as we got yeah. the little, the littles, um, we usually do some for the the younger ones, but. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, we uh, my little niece is uh, is sixteen, so I don't think she trick or treats anymore. Uh, my sister normally has a party at her house in Galveston for like the adults or whatever, but uh, but I normally I don't hang out there because uh, I'm just not into that anymore. You know? Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, I I'm not against people that that, that drink or whatever, uh, but as it's not my cup of tea anymore. So. No. No. So. See, and we don't I, even give out we, candy. We, we can't drink because my medication and all that. Yeah. Well, uh, we don't give out candy anymore either. We live on kind of like on on a back a back street in our subdivision or whatever. Yeah. And so one year, one year we we only had like maybe five or six people. Uh show up, you know, and uh, of course my mother gave them, 
double helmets of everything, you know, to try to get rid of the candy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we just we, we keep the lights down low or whatever, and uh, and also also a lot of people uh, there's just so much foolishness going on now that a lot of people won't even take their kids uh, to houses for trick or treat. They'll they'll take them to like stores. A lot of yeah. stores will give out candy, and also a lot of churches will set up, uh, you know, candy giving stations, and you know, at the church or something. So, but it's just, uh, I don't know, it's just uh, more trouble than it's worth. Yeah. So we only get a few people, but. Yeah, yeah. You know, we don't yeah. get that many. We we used to, but like you say, it's a lot of trouble. Yeah, well, they used to. Uh, you know, the hospitals used to let you X-ray the the candy and stuff to make sure someone hadn't put anything bad in the candy, or whatever. So. Yeah. But, uh, but if 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 I had kids, I'd just go out. I'd say, whatever kind of candy you want, I'll go out and buy it for you, or whatever. And we'll we'll just stay at the house here and and eat it or whatever. So. I think that's what a lot of people do. So. Yeah. yeah. I've got some some sweets for for um, the younger ones, but that's about it. Yeah. For Kepsi, yeah. For Kepsi, for Kepsi and Chloe and Shades and. Mm -hmm. and well, we were we were going to talk about our six month anniversary last week. Yeah. <laughs> and we kind of didn't really get to do that, so. No. Uh, but we've come a long way in six months, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Yeah, I, I've I've seen where Jamie is posting some more videos about you know updating uh, what she's doing, and, and evidently she's doing very very well. So yeah, she is. So, so that's good. Uh, and some of the others, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I think I Lisa. Uh, there's been some dissension in uh, in her hangout, and and I don't know all the details, and it's none of my business or whatever. No. But, but, but basically, I think she's had had to uh, had to dis distance herself from some of the some of the more boisterous uh, people or whatever. So yeah. But but you live and and you learn, and she actually had a hangout, uh, some kind of hangout Friday. Uh, she, I, uh, I don't think she she broadcast. I just think it was kind of like a private hangout or whatever. So we, we don't hear from Jessica that much. No, we don't. And uh, I'd I'd love to find out uh, how she's doing. So maybe someone that that that's in her circle can can give us an update. I'm I'm guessing she's doing well. She's a uh, you know, she started a job or whatever, so I'm, I'm, I'm guessing she's doing well. Have you heard from Elizabeth this week or, or Liz this week? No. No. I, I skipped, chatted with her on Saturday. Okay. Last week. Okay. Um, and she basically she was busy, but that was the last time we spoke to her. Yeah. Okay. And I guess some of the others are doing well. I know uh, Chance is working, and uh, was it Mindy? Yeah. I think Mindy's also got a new job or whatever. So people's success is going to kill the Hangouts, maybe. What about <laughs> Joey? Joey, I, you know, he he posts these long, long vlogs that. Uh, you know, I wish he would post like a two-minute summary of of his his because I would watch those if he just posted. But he but he he he'll he'll do 45 minutes or an hour and uh, and sometimes I'll I'll watch the first couple minutes and the last couple minutes to see what's going on. But unfortunately, I I haven't done that. But uh, from what I understand, he's doing he's doing okay as well. So. We've not posted because we've been severely ill. But yeah. We are going to start posting. Yeah, I want to do some videos um, next week. There'll be um, EFT videos. I've done. I've ha I had a, a request 
Um, now that's going along pretty good. I had a request um, to write um, a tapping script that people could you know could tap to or whatever, and uh, and so I did. And then I've all, I was also working on another one. I've about got that done, so I should have that done uh, next week. And then I'll post those two uh, videos. One is about alcoholism, and it's uh, it's how I feel about alcoholism or whatever. And uh, uh, to me, alcoholism is, is, is a family thing unless the person is living alone. And the second thing about alcoholism from all my studies is 99% is, uh, of the time, the person has to go get professional treatment to yeah. get cured from alcoholism. And the 1% that, do, that does it on their own, okay, Panda, you take care now. Okay, he's not feeling very well, uh, but uh, but the one percent that does it on their own, they're basically a, a dry drunk, you know. Yeah. So they could be they at that point they could be Rachel Hogs. They could do, you know, you know. But but, but anyway, so it's 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 based on on, on my thoughts about alcoholism and. Uh, and I guess what I would do if 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 I had an alcoholic in my family, which you know, thank God I don't have one right now. So. We we do, but we don't really associate. Yeah, yeah, and the thing about it is, uh, they can tell you all day long, I'm gonna quit, I'm gonna quit, I'm gonna quit, but until they go for the treatment uh, to go get uh, to get uh, detox or whatever, he in a doesn't safe. want help. No, so so at that point, at that point, you know, you've done what you can do, and uh, yeah, you know, it's it's up to him, and uh, he'll have to either hit bottom or come to his senses, and uh, yeah, you know, so all you can do at this point is just to be ready. Should he make that decision, that's really all you can do. Yeah. So. I mean, we. We stopped seeing him since when we were five because of it. Yeah. 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 That's that's sad, and it's and that and that right there tells you that it is a disease because nobody in their right mind would become so caught up in in themselves that that they they, they you know push away their family members. So. Yeah. But. And that that. You know, it's a shame that my dad had to do that, but... Yeah. Well, you know, uh, not much you can do about it, so... But, at the end of the day, it is an illness. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And uh, and it's weird. I was watching this program. Uh, it was, well, it was the uh, intervention program, and this... Yeah. Letty was so drunk, she passed out, and family was there. They called the paramedics, and she woke up and said, "I don't want treatment." And the paramedics had to say, "Okay, we can't, we can't give her treatment because in that state, you know, you have the right to refuse treatment." Well, she passed out again, and so when she, so when you're not in control of your faculties, it becomes your family member's decision. And she said, "I want her to get." medical treatment or whatever and this went on like two or three times you know she'd wake up and pass out wake up and pass out or whatever and finally she passed out for a good long time and they took her to the hospital so yeah but uh, but I'm I'm really really fortunate uh, I don't have anybody like that in uh, in my family that I have to worry about so uh, but I'm getting stronger that's the one thing I've noticed about uh, Lisa and and Dell and perhaps you and some of the others that, we, that yeah. we seem to be we seem to be getting stronger within ourselves so we we don't take as much garbage off of people as as normally we used to so I think I think that's good oh no I've learned not to take as much spoff off anyone yeah yeah I don't take spoff from nobody anymore I used to be really bad with it. I used to, like, take everybody's comments to heart, but now, yeah. if someone says to me, oh, I'm going to kill you, I don't take it seriously anymore. 
Well, I mean, if someone if someone were to tell me that. Uh, I mean, okay. my sister says that is a joke. Yeah. I can tell she's saying it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, I've had people tell me, you know, that I was off base, or you know, that was the stupidest idea that I, that they had ever heard, or whatever. And really, you know, I'm I'm like, was it that stupid? You know, maybe it was, yeah. but maybe I've it had, wasn't. I've had that. Yeah, I've had but that. So, but I don't. I, I don't automatically take it to heart. I actually. I actually um, analyze it. You know, to see. We we, uh, we 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 take things too literally sometimes, though. Yeah. Well. It's just the way that I've always done it. Though I've always took things too literally, and. Yeah. And. Never understood things properly, and it's. Lou says, "Once an alcoholic, always an alcoholic." True. I, I think that it's very true. I think yeah. that's very true. You know, I've known some people that are recovering alcoholics. Uh, yeah. That, that were quite nice, or whatever. And as a matter of fact, I was in a, I was in a twelve-step group, and uh, it wasn't about alcoholism, but uh, it was. About other things, and uh, and this guy, uh, he said uh, he he had drank so much that he had actually damaged his liver. And his doctor said, if you ever you know go back to drinking, you'll 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 be dead in six months or whatever. So for him, you know, uh, I mean, he he didn't have a choice or whatever. But 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 he worked as a carpenter, and he was just a very very sweet man. Uh, so. I mean, I never knew what he was like when he was drunk. So, but um, but uh, in in the support group we were in, he was just a very very sweet man. So, it's a shame for some of them because they have some sort of issues, and you know, it's just a shame for what they yeah. go through. Yeah, normally it's something that they don't want to look at. It's um, no, it's and it's also a coping skill. Yeah, that's that's what I'm finding out in. In my life, that I have, I have better coping skills than, yeah. than I've ever had. Uh, I'll tell you a story about the EFT that was shared in, in my healing group on Wednesday. A uh, young lady is going to college in uh, in Austin, Texas. I think it is. Uh, she has a double major. She's double majoring in engineering, mechanical engineering, and her other part of the double major is business and I, I can't think of a harder combination <laughs> to be a double major in unless it's unless it would be two of the sciences but of course engineering encompasses so much of the science uh, and then business you gotta know about economics but anyway she she was tapping on herself she had a test and she made a, an 84 on the test and it devastated her, and she was like, should, should, "Should I drop one of my majors?" And uh, so she did the tapping procedure on herself. She called her mom, and her mom tapped with her over the phone. And anyway, she went she went to see the professor the, the next day, and to review the test. And the professor said, "Oh, I I made a mistake. Uh, the way we graded it was wrong. You actually made a 98." And uh, and I was thinking to myself, if 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 I had had the coping skills that I had now, when I was her age, I probably would would have my four year degree right now. Yeah. I've got a two year degree, but I don't have a four year degree. So. But uh, the kids today, they don't realize how lucky they are. Well, no. Maybe they do. Maybe they do. Maybe they do. If, if they have parents or grandparents that they talk to. So. Sometimes I don't realize how lucky I am because I have that many health problems. Mm hmm And things getting me down. I, I just, just don't realize how lucky I am to still be here and, and still be around. Yeah, and and I know I know you've had problems with your uh, with the healthcare system over there or whatever, but it's it's ten times better than our healthcare system. 
even if you have to wait, you know, five or six weeks for an appointment or whatever, it's uh, it's still ten times better. Yeah. Uh, I heard the other day a huge percentage of people that have dental insurance do not go to the dentist in our in my country, and I think it's like maybe twenty five percent, something in that neighborhood, because uh, the the deductibles and the copays are so high. What a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so I don't know. Oh, oh. Uh, speaking of politics, did you see the uh, election in Canada? No. Oh gosh. Well, you should go back and and look at that because the liberals won in Canada. Did a they? young man, a young man named Justin Trudeau, whose father was prime minister for like fifteen years. Uh, uh, became well. He's the prime minister designate. I don't think that they've actually they've actually sworn him in yet or whatever. There's a, they have a little bit of a transition period or whatever. But uh, but anyway, uh, so liberalism may not be may not be as sick as we thought it was. So so I'm I'm encouraged by that. Yeah. And in, Posit in positive change. Yeah, 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 and uh, he's he said uh, he wants to take care of everybody, and uh, if they have to put it on the charge card for a little while, he'll put it on the charge card for a little while, so uh, to keep their economy going and everything. So, I mean, that was that was really really neat. Uh, my election, our election here, uh, it's. Things are starting to clear up a little bit. We had uh, a Democrat drop out of the race this morning. Who <laughs> wasn't, really wasn't really a Democrat. He wasn't really a candidate, to be quite honest about it. Oh, Lincoln, uh, a Lincoln Chafee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was the governor of our smallest state. Which, uh, what's the smallest county in England? Uh, Isn't it Rutland, Rutland County? I think so. Yeah, yeah, because they made um, Monty Python or somebody. Uh, then they do a, a mockumentary about the Ruddles. Yeah. Which was a takeoff on the Beatles. I think so. <laughs> yeah. And uh, all of that's on YouTube. I, I love that, but I think I think their hit song was "All You Need Is Cash." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and goose step mama. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, so he was the governor of our small estate, and uh, he's changed parties a couple of times, and and maybe now he'll write a book and and, <laughs> and be done with it. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh me. But. Uh, Aside from the threat of rain, the the weather here has been quite nice. It's been it's been rather pleasant. Uh, uh, the humidity's been <laughs> up a little bit, but uh, but I mean that that's to be expected. God so. damn it! Shades, get off! I just picked up my medication bottle. Oh no! Shades, get off! What time is it? It's uh, twenty minutes till nine. Got twenty minutes yet, shades. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Shade has no concept of time. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm I'm glad other members of your system do have a concept of time. So they're only they're only shades is only three. Right, but that's why you have. Uh, uh, blue, uh, you you may be right. Uh, uh, blue says the GOP may have given Hillary the election yesterday. Uh, you know, before the Republicans just want to shoot themselves in the foot. I just want to talk a minute about this, and then I want to talk about something else. But the Republicans, they had. I like Speaker Boehner. You know. Uh, to me, he doing doing a fair job, and then so they forced him out, and then a new guy comes up, and he says, "Oh, 
we 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 were trying to get Hillary, you know, and then and then now they can't find a speaker. I think they've got. Um, I think Ryan's going to take it, but uh, I don't know how how he'll do. Paul Ryan, uh, and they just have this. I mean, they just want to shoot themselves in the foot or whatever. But uh, but uh, the thing about it, if if we get Hillary, it's just like having a Republican in there because. Uh, you know, she's she's bought and paid for by by Wall Street. So you know. yeah. Uh, but, but anyway, I don't want I don't want to belabor the point or whatever. And uh, do you all remember uh, the English girl, blonde, who uh, who was doing videos or whatever and did a documentary, and then she fell off the radar for a while. <sighs> What's her name? Yeah, I'm going to see if I can find that. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm following her, and uh, what? but anyway, she's she's back. She posted a new video, and she said she's going to post more videos. So I'm going to see if I can't. It may take me a minute or two because uh, I'm sub subscribed. I'm just to too many people. I'm afraid. Oh. <laughs> And she posted a video a couple of days ago. Ketsia, get off. She's being cheeky. She's being... Yeah, what's what's Ketsia doing now? She's messing about with headphones. Oh, gosh. Okay. Maybe I can go down my subscription list and see... I'm subscribed to over 200 people. <gasps> yeah. That just shows you how varied my interests are. Yeah. I've been going through, I've been calling some of them. So, some of them that don't post anymore. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm shaking. Uh huh. See Which a migraine? Way? It's your. Okay, I think her name yeah. is a, is a Hope Murphy. Is that her name? I don't know. I think it might be. I'm gonna pull her up and see. No, it's not Hope Murphy. Hope, Hope, Hope Murphy is is a is a uh, is a singer. I think she's out of Wales. So. It's not. It's not Caroline, is it? It might be. It's not. I don't think it is. Yeah. No, she's Irish. Yeah, but she had uh, she had uh, you know they they've been uh, she'd been on a couple of talk shows or whatever. No, it's not. I don't know. Yeah. Hopefully, I can figure it out here. Oh, she's been on TV. Yeah, 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 and uh, we used to talk about her all the time in the in the hangouts. Um. Figure it out. Um. Yeah. I'm guessing. Kim Noble. No, it's not. Can you that hear one. me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, it's multiplicity of me. It's Jess. I put the the link in the chat box. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I've got it right here. I just I thought she was going by her name. Okay. So, uh, did you see the her video? No. Okay. Yes, I did. Uh, what happened to her after she uh, did the programs and? Uh, she did two programs, and plus she did a a uh, speech in front of her university. Uh, she got really, you might say, trolled and attacked real bad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Even from family and friends. Who, Jessica who? Uh, I don't know her last name. It's Multiplicity and Me. Her name, oh. they call her Jess. Oh. Uh, 
she did a show on the BBC, and uh, oh, she yeah. was attacked for coming out DID real bad. I mean, really severe. And yeah. pretty much she had to pull back. Also, she lost her job for being multiple. Right, oh, right. Being dissociative, DID. Uh, oh, they, God. They, uh, they, uh, her employer uh, said, uh, felt that she was not able to do her job because of that. Yeah. Which is total nonsense if you're already discrimination. Yeah, if you're already functioning in the outside world, but apparently... How can you discriminate against uh, someone for being DID? That is ridiculous. Well, they allowed it. We can't argue that, but uh, apparently uh, she did graduate the university. Uh, she did get a job helping others with mental health issues, uh, and uh, looks like it's going her way now. Uh, yeah. Glad to see she came back. Yeah. Uh, the title of her latest video is Multiplicity and Me, uh, We're Back. And yeah. this, was, this was posted five days ago, and the subtitle is The Return of Us. So. Mindy wants to join the call. Okay, I'll send her a. Uh, I'll send her a. Uh, does she need a. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll send her an invite. I thought I did that, but I'll send her another one. Oh, no. You're switching again? Yeah. Okay. Who's coming in? Uh, Mindy. Hello? Oh, who's who's this now? Katsia. Hey, Katsia. How you doing this evening? Scared. Okay. Well, just hang on. Everything's going to be okay. Mindy, how are you doing this evening? Uh, interesting. Now, you you you, you recently got a new job, right? Um, I've had it for a little while. Okay. I just I I get confused sometimes. So, how's it going? <laughs> uh, it's going. I'm working with kids and it's fun. I think I think it's kind of a fun and interesting way that I can like kind of get to interact with my little parts a little bit while I'm at work. Okay. Shades shades stole from me. Okay. Oh, that's too bad. Uh is Christian around? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you can ask him for some help then. Yeah. He's he's good at that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey Mandy, this is Blue. Hey Blue, long time no here. Are you doing well, dear? Uh, we're hanging in there. We've had some uh had some interesting few weeks. Um, is that is that Mindy? Yes, yeah, it is. It's Mindy. I'm Ketsia. Hi. Hi. Um, it's been interesting, Blue. So we moved, and um, okay, so we moved, and then I had, let's see, after the move, I had my parts kind of came back out, and it was interesting, um, and then. I had so some different some things have been happening. You moved some house? Been, yeah. I did. I moved to a different place. I'm renting a room from someone. Um, so kind of since the move, I've had some different things happen. So um, uh, I've had some new parts come out that I haven't known before, and they have been very different, um, and they've there have been times these new parts have taken taken over control, which I have not experienced before, and it's been absolutely terrible. And feeling trapped inside when they do that. Um, and then I have uh, let's see. Then I have this part who wants to who wants who again over the body, and she she acts out the trauma, and so she shows 
things that happen, which is pretty scary. I don't like it when she does that. Then I have this other part who came out sometime after she did, and she she hums, and her humming makes me very tired. Not that I'm not already tired when she starts humming, but her humming makes me extremely tired. And um, when she comes out and takes over, I am finding that I am having a difficult time communicating outwardly. Me no feel safe. Me going back. Hello? All righty. Christian. Hey, Christian. Welcome welcome to the party. Uh, Mindy was just telling us about her, uh, her living situation, and uh, she's ha had some parts show up. I was going to ask Mindy... Uh, How's your therapist? Is he is he better or about the same? Um, I'm not really sure. Right now, he's wanting right now he's wanting to try some new techniques to help me communicate with my parts and to okay. build a team to be able to work together to help when these other parts take over. Um, okay, which. We kind of worked on that this last week, and that was interesting. He did okay. some EMDR. He did some EMDR with it, and then... Oh, okay. I don't even really know what happened, guys. My So we did that, and then I wasn't even out of the session when this other part who hums took over, and, like, I don't even know. And then she was there the whole ride back. I wrote... I didn't have to drive. Somebody drove me, and so she was there the whole time back into town and then um and then and then I I I couldn't come back out. I was trying and then when I finally did I still wasn't all the way there and then I got in my car to talk to my friend on the phone and then she came back out and then this other part who acts things out came out and then it was like switching so the part who acts things out, her name is Missy, and then the part who hums, her name is Mary. So Mary came out, and then Missy came out, and then Mary came back out, and then I think I briefly came back out, and then this, like, Ketia, super duper, you're not supposed to say that. Super duper rageful, angry part came out, and okay. I think that was a new part. And then, like, the night before, a new another new part had come out. So I'm just, I don't know, all these parts are coming out, and yeah. I don't... I don't understand. I feel like I'm nuts. I feel like I'm just nuts. And I feel like I'm making everything up. And I mean, is it typical to have parts come out in groups? Like new parts, seemingly new Yeah, parts. We, we, we get that. Yeah, especially yeah. if you're going through um, a lot of stress and, and, you, and you, you have. You've got a new job. You've got a new home. And uh, mm -hmm. I mean, there, there used to be a thing, uh, a stress rating scale and and you could take like a test or whatever to see you know how bad your mm -hmm. stress was or whatever and and if you hit if you hit 300 that was pretty bad so i mm -hmm. took it i took it twice uh -oh. you know and and i hit 300 both times and i'm like i'm going to stop taking this thing but, yeah. but it seems like uh, if you have a death in the family that counts so many points if you have a divorce yeah. that counts so many a move, a new job, mm -hmm. all these things uh, count for points or whatever. So, yeah, yeah, I would think that's very typical. I was going to ask about, um, uh, you said it was Mary that hums? Yeah. Okay. Is humming part of EDMR? No. EMDR? No, it's not. Okay. 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 Because I know I know there are some healing on, modalities. Okay. Are you talking to me? Are you going your way out? Yes, okay. eventually. So I'm gonna. Well, can you get him in the cage? You want me to put him in there? I can put him back in. Because when you're here, mm -hmm. you could let him out. I did let him out briefly earlier, but I wasn't oh. sure. Yeah, whenever nobody. Because then I was gonna shower, so then. Oh. Uh, okay. I wasn't. Sure. <laughs> then. All right. If you want to put him in? That's cool. Sure, I'll put him back in. And then, uh, Hi, my puppy. I just had to go get something. Sure. Is he okay while well, I'm in my room? Yeah. Okay, he won't destroy anything. As long as someone's home. Okay. Nobody's home. What time is it? It is okay. five minutes till nine. So okay. And, and I'm about to take us um, offline. We're still in the call. Um, okay, so no, her humming is not part of the EMDR. I don't I don't really know why she hums. I think I think she hums 
from what I've understood, from what she has said, from what I've heard her say, she like, she helps, and so she helps to keep other things away, and then she's aware that somebody is sad and somebody is angry, okay. and, um, Mindy? what else? Yeah. Um, uh, so, well, my therapist just told me, and I, I know this from past experience, therapy tends to activate, can activate uh, hidden fragments okay. or personalities, yeah. whatever you want to call it, and that right. might be what your experience. Um, I'm having that problem. I think uh, we have another altar that's very hidden and mm -hmm. very shy mm -hmm. uh, that doesn't want to come out. It doesn't seem the others in the system are mm -hmm. aware of this individual. Mm. Uh, right. But she has became, you know, it's a female, it's probably a child, uh, has became active in the last few months. Yeah. Uh, so it, it's going to happen as you go progress forward. Right. And also, they've also, there's some theories that as you progress towards some degree of healing, mm -hmm. that sometimes. There are other altars created to try to help progress you forward. Mm -hmm. Just a theory, though. Yeah, one of my friends, one of my friends said it sounds like I'm getting deeper in my system, and so the deeper I go, there are these parts that are deeper who I'm not so co-conscious with. So that's been her explanation. But I don't understand why all this has been happening because I mean we really haven't even been doing therapy work, and then this last week the only kind of work, like. To Wednesday, the only kind of work we did was he wanted me to kind of try to find out who would be good helper parts inside, so like who could be a good part of a team, and so I kind of figured out maybe three parts, but then one of them I'm not really sure because of something that happened afterwards, and then um, and then we did that. I don't need my light. Um. What are you doing? We did that and Checking then, what? Um, uh Looking what? So up. then he like so then he invited tell this, me what? he invited Missy to come yeah, in. So he me. wanted them to come into the inner What's conference happening? room. And so he invited it, not in my room. Um he invited so he wanted Michelle, me to invite Missy into the inner conference room, and so I did. And then um, Sorry. he wanted me to see I'll turn what, you she, over. what she, what did I see, and I'll then turn how did she I'll feel, turn and all over. this other stuff about it. Um, and then, so what? I mean, nothing really I'll major happened, over. but I think I did feel that Missy wanted to take over my body and show the therapist what stuff that happened, and so I don't know if maybe that's why Mary came out, but she didn't come out until after therapy. Like, she didn't so, come out until the session was so over. So, therapist now, Mindy, is engaging your others? What? Your, uh, your uh, therapist is now engaging your other alters. I know in the past... No, he, he didn't engage them. He did not engage them. He... Oh, I don't know how to explain is it. Is it 9 o'clock? Yes, he it is. Not, he did not engage them. He, um, it was all inside. It was all inside in our inner in our inner world, and he wanted all of this to be happening in our conference room. So I was supposed to see these parts in my conference room, and then I was supposed to tell him what I was seeing, and then all of that stuff. So no, he's not necessarily engaging my parts, which I wish he would do. Um, but I, I was but I was feeling that Mary no, I was feeling that Missy was gonna come out and engage in session more so than just in my inner world. Um, and so I don't know if that's why Missy I don't know if that's why Mary came out at the end of session. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. I feel like I'm crazy. I feel like I'm making all this shit up and I just feel like I'm fucking crazy. Well, hold, hold that thought. Uh, we're gonna take a pause now so I can so we can go private. And I just want to tell the folks in YouTube land thanks for watching. We'll be back next week where you know, our topic will be a pleasing personality plus whatever you guys want to talk about. So at this point, we're going to go private. So thanks for watching, everybody.